Hello friends, it is me, Teresa Louise. Welcome to I Quilt Too. Today is uh, Tuesday, April 16th and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I decided just to come on and go live for a little while and say hi to everybody. Hi Ginger, how are you doing? Good to see you. Um, glad you could be here. I'm just going to be working on a little sewing tonight. I'm going to work on this. I forgot to put it in the description box. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, press flowers block 11. That's what I'm going to work on tonight. So anyway, I'll just say hi. Hi, Tessa. Hi, Donna Bogard. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm wiggling. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Liz. Oh. Hi, Kay. Hello, Linda Denton. How are you doing? Okay, no problem, Linda. She said she's got to work, so she'll watch the replay. I appreciate that. Hello, Donya, Donna. <laughs> Handmade by Ying. How are you doing? Hi, Jackie. Hello, Melody. Hi, Susie. Sorry, I missed you there. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well on this Tuesday night. My unexpected live. <laughs> Hi, Melody. Hey, Jackie. Hello, CMJ. Hello, hello. Hello, Laureen. Hello, Donna H. Hi Gladys. Hello Teresa. Hi Paula. Hi Shelly Sews. <laughs> okay, so I'm working on this. Um, press flowers block 11. Um, so I'm sorry about Sunday. Um, yeah, I don't know what I did to my neck, but it was like I couldn't hardly turn my head at all. I was in so much pain. I don't know if I just slept on it wrong. Brandon says I, he saw that I was sleeping on my arm. So he thinks I slept on it wrong. But um, it was pretty painful there for <clears throat> a couple of days. But uh, seems to be not too bad today. Uh, was able to go out, take the dogs for a walk and all that stuff. So um, it's better. My my thumb is still in trigger thumb <laughs> but i took the wrap off just to give it a break um and it actually even looks a little swollen today because i had uh, a wrapping around it last night and i guess it was too tight and it really made my um, thumb swell up <laughs> so it looked like a big grape <laughs> this morning so I took it off give it a break so but I still can't bend it without without it hurting so um let's see what else we got here why my chat just keeps jumping around hi Debbie Shelly says I've done that it's no fun yeah, I'm probably going to end up having surgery on my thumbs eventually, I think. And I could probably thank my dad for that because he had problems with his thumbs too. And he had surgery on them. I'm not, you know, I mean, it, he said it really helped. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to wait <laughs> as long as possible. Um yeah, I got the shot. Remember, it was what was it been like four or five months ago? It first happened, and I went in and got the shot, and that did help. So, but it only helped for like two or three months. But um, I'm gonna go in and get another one probably because this is getting old. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, it's no big deal, Donna, having surgery on your thumb. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't think my dad thought it was any big deal either, but 
I have had uh, carpal tunnel surgery, and um, I guess the biggest pain about that is, you know, you can't, it was my right hand, I'm right-handed, so you have to learn to brush your teeth with your left and do all the things, <laughs> all the things, I'm not going to say what, but with your left hand, right? And that's a little hard to um, get used to doing, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to have both thumbs done at the same time. Pretty sure I don't. So, um, hi, Sandra. You had carpal tunnel and trigger at the same time, Teresa? Oh, wow. Yeah, my thumbs didn't bother me back then when I had this done. I think this was in... Twenty, twenty oh eight, maybe something like that. Hi, Kathleen. Yeah, no, I don't want to get both thumbs done at the same time. That's for sure. So let's see who else I've missed here. Hi, Kath. Um, Kim, how's it going? Hi, Nina. I know I miss some other people. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Tammy. Debbie Horton, hello. Judy, hello. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mary. Hi, Paula. Said hi to Jackie. Okay. All right. I think I'm good. Nita. Hi, Jewel. Kim says, I had carpal tunnel on my right hand at the same time as rotary cuff surgery on that shoulder. Talk about, oh gosh. Oh gosh, Kim. I had rotary cuff surgery too. And I can't imagine that you had that and that done at the same time. Oh my God. Because rotary cuff surgery, in my opinion, is like one of the worst surgeries you can have okay i've had i've had eight eight ow, ow, ouch eight surgeries and that yeah the rotary my shoulder surgery was absolutely the worst you cannot sleep <laughs> Vera, hi vera had um surgery for tr trigger finger i haven't had trigger finger yet but i bet you i'm gonna Yeah, you got to only be able to use one hand for a few weeks. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Leanne. How's it going? Hi, Janine. Judy's had the um, trigger thumb, and she's gotten the shots. And it lasted two years. Yeah, I'm thinking... It should have lasted longer, so, you know, maybe the doctor that did it didn't really get it in the right spot. I don't know. Yeah, that's right, Jewel. They don't, those doctors don't tell you that it's the worst surgery ever. So, I went in for my um, surgery on my shoulder, and it was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. And, um, you know, that you are only supposedly supposed to stay in the hospital after surgery, maybe four hours at the most, he said. And um, I woke up. Oh, my goodness. I was so sick from the anesthesia. I was like, you know. <laughs> throwing up and all kinds of things plus my shoulder was just killing me because I guess all the pain meds were wearing off or something but um, I was so sick that they had to keep me in the hospital overnight because um, there was no way my husband could drive me home you know it was a couple of hour drive 
I, I couldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I, I was in too much pain and I was so sick. And um, so, but by the next day, about one or two o'clock, I started feeling better. But yeah, I had to sleep in a darn recliner chair for, um, I don't know, th at least three months. It was terrible. Yeah, it depends on exactly, Judy. No, I don't have an AccuCoat cutter. I wish I did. I would like to get one that's just the hand crank. Of course, now I probably couldn't do it. but Because um, <laughs> the electric ones are too expensive, you know. And I, if I did get one, I just basically would want to cut the squares, you know, and stuff. That kind of thing. Nothing... I don't know. I don't know if it would be worth the money getting the electric one or not. No, get the electric one. I'd have to uh, save up for it. Your affiliate of AquaQuilt? Oh, awesome. Hello, Quilt Queen. Shelly, how are you doing? She says hello and hello to all my friends. Yeah, I had to use pillows, prop them all up and everything like that. Yeah. I found a new quilter that has only one arm. Oh, I think I know who that is. I can't remember her name, but didn't she just have a fire where she lost everything at the house? Hi, Shirley. Hi, Susan Brown. Hi, Sandra. Did I say hello to Sheila? I'm not sure. Hi, Sheila. Don't laugh, but I taped a popsicle stick that I cut down to keep it straight. <laughs> the doctor got a big kick out of that. That's from um, Vera. <laughs> That's funny. I, I was actually thinking about a popsicle stick, but I didn't have one. So um, I did think about that. I, I am feeling better. Thank you. Hi, Paula. Oh, the farmhouse just had a fire too? Oh, I didn't know that. I'm going to have to go check out her channel. And I'm kind of behind on all of the... Um... Okay, Judy, bye. Thank you. Oh, right, Tammy. Uh... Hola. Hi, Dee. How's it going? Okay, I'm going to get to sewing. <laughs> so talk. So talk. <laughs> That's what I, the channel name should be. So talk. <laughs> That's a good name. Anybody can use it if you want. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. <clears throat> okay. So how are you guys doing on your pressed flower? Hey, Jamie, did you um, get the rest of your press flower all put together? I haven't seen a video on that yet. Hi, Joyce. Um, I got everything cut out. So I'm on block 11. Everything's cut out. I also have block 12 cut out. And I have um, block 12 is all cut out and then I have the this is the for the bat for the you know the fill in blocks and I have all of that cut out too you guys um, aren't you uh, proud of me <laughs> it's it's all ready to go and I didn't have any red Christmas morning fabric 
um, to use with this. That's the fabric I'm using for the blocks. But I did find this other red, which I think will go fine. And it's got, you know, little black lines on it. So that will be these. And then I'm just going to use white for the other part. So I got all these cut out. And then I have some of these cut out. <laughs> I don't know what those are for. Those are, I think these were extra. So those are ready to go. And ready to go on number 12 block. And um, I think this Sunday, this coming Sunday, me and Kay, I hope, Kay and I will be on um, as long as nothing happens to either one of us. And um, <laughs> we will be doing the um, festi festivals and fireworks. So I know last month was supposed to be block five, um, but uh, Kay did put a video out on block five. So we're... We're just going to go with that. So this Sunday will be block six. I will show block five, but um, we'll be sewing block six. It looks like Robert Kaufman chalk bar collection. Oh, I don't know. It's pretty old fabric. I don't know if it was Robert Kaufman or not. I don't remember what the salvage said. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? Thanks, Kim. Yes, Leanne, I'm on the ball. Um, I don't want the people that come see me cook get mad if I start quilting. <laughs> oh, don't do, you know. I do... You know what? It's your channel. You should be able to do whatever you want to do. And um, the people that come watch you, come watch you to spend time with you. Not just, you know, to get recipes, I would think. Right? I mean, that's what I think the people that are here with me, I'm hoping they want to visit with me. Because <laughs> that's why I'm live, right? And I... I do other things besides sew. I don't just sew. Um, didn't I do like, um, wasn't I live one time when I was canning huckleberry jelly or something like that? I did something like that. And um, so, and if they don't want to watch you doing that, or, you know, I know that some people don't like to watch box openings. And so, you know, just don't watch that video. <laughs> That's it's so simple. <laughs> There's a lot of lot of people on YouTube. Yeah, right. Okay, thanks, Donna. Yes, I did. Yeah, so it was fun. I think it's fun to do other things once in a while. All right, so I have all of my pieces ready to sew. And this block has a lot of... Um, sewing flips okay so I'm all ready now um, I'm going to see if I can put you down a little bit yeah Paula that's what I thought she's the one that had the fire yeah put that down a little bit so you can watch me sew Oh, I was over at So Yeah for a while. And, you know, I had I haven't been over there in a long time. And um, I'm like, well, I'll just pop on and say hi. And they had Tula Pink. And I was like, oh, no, they got Tula Pink. And um, so, yeah, well, I bought a fat quarter bundle of Tula Pink. <laughs> <clears throat> 
I think it's called Roar. Hi, Andrea. Um, bad girl, bad girl. <laughs> so I got off of there. I'm like, I got to go because if I start, if I buy something once and I'm going to buy something again. So I just got the heck out of there. <laughs> so I thought maybe I should go live, you know, and rescue some of my friends from making purchases that <laughs> they don't need to be making. Wasn't that nice of me? Um, so I'm looking, I don't have that fabric line uh, yet, Roar. Um, so, and it looks like there's a lot of pretty pieces with that. So, looking forward to getting that. So, I just put a whole bunch of them together, all the sewing flips, so that I can chain piece, right, one after the other. And you guys probably already have this one done, I'm sure. I know Jamie does. Yes, Joyce. So, yeah, it's so addicting. Yep, they can be, especially on Saturday night when they're doing the D-stash. You got to be careful. And, you know, I have bought quite a bit of stuff from them. And um, I usually have a piece of paper and a pen next to me. And if I, if I get the item, then I write it down in the price. So I kind of can see how much I've spent. But um, because I did it once where I didn't do it that way, I think the first time. First time I bought from them, and I spent like a $480 or something like that. Um, and that was a couple of years ago. And I was like, oh my God, uh, can I make payments on this, please? <laughs> I'm like, what did I buy? I had to go back and watch the replay. <laughs> Are you sure that's my bill? <laughs> so after that, I started... Um, Write, writing it down as we go, you know. They do have some pretty good sales on there. All right. Got those. <laughs> That's true. My husband says we can't eat fabric. <laughs> It's, it does add up quick. Yeah, that's right, Joyce. Okay. When my husband comes up here, which isn't very often, he'll go, oh, my God. You sure got a lot of fabric. <laughs> Where would all this come from? And I just say, well, most of it come, came from a yard sale. <laughs> Which some of it did come from a yard sale, so I'm not really lying, but. <laughs> Hi, Joe. How are you doing? Hi, Katie. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you come in. <laughs> Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Yeah, it is, uh, Jamie. She says, um, I had to stop buying from them because it's just too much money every week yeah i i can't even just go over there uh because you know <laughs> i'll end up buying something so okay now i'm gonna flip it over and do the other side so um i think it was in the so sampler box might have been last month 
that we got the little light that you can put on your sewing machine and I put that up over here and it works pretty good I like having that extra light so far so good um, I, I didn't want to put it over my stickers I, this is probably where probably been the best spot for it but I didn't want to put it over my stickers so I put it right here in the middle of my machine and then I just folded the light thing down and um, so far it's working out okay I haven't had to charge it up yet I'm kind of seeing how long it can go before I have to charge it up I think that it said that the retail value on this light was like 23 or 24 dollars hi Brandy yeah um, I used to get a, quite a bit of my fabric from eBay when I first started buying buying fabric um, charm packs and stuff like that got some pretty good deals on them um, and my local quilt shop a lot of times they have discount fabric for like $6.99 which isn't um, too bad have you guys ever been to like an auction that's what it kind of reminds me of. You know, you kind of start getting carried away, you know, putting your number up. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. And you just get carried away. <laughs> At least I do anyway. Hello, crossover. How you doing? Yeah, I have one of those strip lights right here. Um but it's not working very well anymore it's probably about six years old and i think i need to have it need to replace it um and you can get those strip lights off of amazon they're they're not that expensive um i think they are cheaper than this thing that i have up here here let me show you it's a rechargeable led light See if I can get it. It has Velcro, so you can see the light. There it is. Let me turn it off so I can hold it up there better. Um, Kathleen is inquiring into where you do the B pattern. The B pattern? Are you, is she talking about the B that's up on the, hanging up on the wall? You order the strip light? Great. I, I think you'll like that. I like the strip light. Um, is she talking about the B that's hanging on the, yes. that be um i wish i knew i don't know because i got that in a swap so um it was you know the swap on facebook um lisa marie what's it called <laughs> i can't remember what it's called uh anyway her name is Shannon. She's the one that I did the swap with. And she sent me that because she knows that I love bees. And so, yeah. What, I guess I need to ask her uh, where she got the pattern from. I'll write that down. And uh, I'll send her a me message and ask her. It looks like it's regular pieced, piecing and not um, foundation paper piecing. It, it, um, it looks pretty simple. I could probably figure it out, <laughs> but I'll ask her. Um, Shannon. Okay. 
<clears throat> because, um, hi, Susan. Oh, and I also um, got, uh, or I will be have, have coming. Gosh, I can't talk. I'm sorry, you guys. You know how it is for me sometimes. Um, I have a new subscription box coming. Thanks to Jamie. <laughs> it is the Primitive Gatherings box that um, Primitive Gatherings and it is every other month and it's $45 and if you want to um, check out some of those box openings go over to um, Jamie's uh, channel the uh, Quilting Compound she has a bunch of um, videos where she's opened those boxes and you get all kinds of projects and that's why I went for it because um, it wasn't just fabric you get a block of the month and then you get a couple of other projects in it and I thought it was a pretty good deal for $45 and, and that includes the shipping so and you know how much shipping is So, yeah, we need to do some prayers for Susan Shady um, for her eyeball. She's having a hard time with her eye. Um, so, send out um, positive vibes or prayers. I would appreciate it for her eyeball to be healed. All right. Anyway, I got back to the subscription box. Um, got an email today that the item has shipped. So I can't wait to get that. Oh, wow, Jamie says that um, she got a whole layer cake plus other stuff in one of the boxes. Wow. That's great. You're on the fence with uh, Jenny's box? Yeah, I was thinking about, you know, I haven't gotten one of Jenny's boxes at all. Um, and I'm thinking about it. Probably, probably by the time I decide, the box will be gone. <laughs> right? Has anybody here getting um, Missouri Star Quilt, Jenny's box, Christmas box? Um, the one last year looked pretty good. That first box she did, though... There wasn't too many people happy with that. And um, so I think they've gotten better. I was thinking maybe going back and watching the box openings on that one more time. And... Um, See if it's really anything I would want. Oh, no, Katie. The one you paid for last year was stolen in transit. Ugh. That's terrible. Is that the only thing you've had stolen in transit? Next, the Jenny box. Uh, Shirley just ordered the box this week. How much is it? I think, I don't know how much it is. Like a hundred. I 
I don't know how much it is. Does anybody know how much it is? Katie, was it replaced? No. Other things have disappeared too. Yeah, I'm sure. Shirley said, I had a lot of fun opening it each, each day with the granddaughter, so I have already ordered it. Oh, cool. 198? Well, that's more than last year. Oh, they refunded you, Katie? That, well, that was really nice of them. It's somewhere around 180. Yeah, I thought it was like 175 or something like that, but honestly, I haven't looked. <laughs> so I would probably go and watch the videos from last year and um, just kind of make sure that all the things that were in it would be something I would like to have. Because I don't really need any more just junk laying around. Yeah, Sheila. I'd rather spend 200 on stuff I know I want. Yeah. Yeah, because if I'm going to spend that much money, I want one of those. Um, I think it's called a Gator uh, Light. It's for applique. You know, and you can cut on it. <laughs> I would rather have one of those. I think it would make my doing my um, horses and all that stuff I do uh, a little bit easier. So. Okay, I need to plug the iron in. Tammy says one eighty nine ninety five. Okay, so I think that's more than last year. Yeah, I don't know, Katie. I They need to, like, put something else on the outside of the box so they don't, you know, know that it's coming from Missouri StarCraft. Like, um, have Jenny put on there that it's um, Depends <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> of course, it might still get um, stolen if you do that, though. So. I'm at the point where I need to iron some of these. Okay, in case you don't know, this is what I'm working on. It's from the um, Fat Quarter Shop Sew Sampler box, but this uh, isn't exclusive. You can get it on the from the Fat Quarter Shop. I think it's like $4.95 or $4.99 per pattern. Um, it's called Press Flowers. It's going to be really pretty. So. And uh, you could go over to um, the quilting compound. Jamie, you can see how far hers has come. She's a lot closer to being done than I am. Hi, Terry. Now, um, j yeah, I'm excited about that too, Jamie. Um, I was thinking about canceling my sew sampler box. And I know you guys have heard me say this like a hundred million times. <laughs> But I decided to wait to see what's in the April box and if I want to do that so along or not. So, I mean, I could do do the so along, you know, just go to the website and download the pattern. I know that. But I really think that the stuff in the sew sampler box 
has gotten better this past year than previous years, um, in my opinion. So, um, I feel a lot better today, Terry. Thank you. Brandy is working on the sashing for hers. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the same boat, Jamie. Oh, my giggle. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Susan needs to finish the last two flowers. That's what I'm working on now, Susan. Yeah, I think it. I think I got that email, Jewel, and I think I'm. If I remember correctly, I thought it was cute, but I want. I want it in the hands, you know. <laughs> I remember when I, the first year that I did the So Sampler, after that first year, and I did like a whole year review on it. And those boxes, at that time, the average value of the items that you received, it was like 60 bucks, which um, was, which is pretty good. I mean, that's retail price now, you know, retail. And, um, and you know, this past year, they, they, it's five dollars more than it used to be but i think they've really upped the value of the box so anyway i'll probably keep it because <laughs> if i don't then there's going to be a box that comes that it's just and jamie's going to open it and i'm going to go oh my god i wish i would have gotten that and then I'll have to go over to the Fat Quarter Shop and pay $45 for it because I'm no longer a member. <laughs> right? Yeah, I agree, Shelly. This one is the best, the pressed flower. Yeah, it's a gift every month. Exactly, Brandy. Um, how much is the box? I think with, um, everything plus, you know, if you're in a state that has tax, I have to pay tax. I think it's like $38 and 70 cents a month is what I pay. And I know Susan likes that box too. Yeah. Voice text is bad. <laughs> Oh, maybe it is 32. You know, I'd have to look. 38 might have been too much. I don't know. I'd have to look, but I'm using my phone, so I can't I can't look up my bank. <laughs> yeah, it's right under 40. What Susan said. So, all right. I got to iron. I think the box is twenty nine ninety five a month plus shipping, which is five dollars plus tax. So yeah, thirty. I think it is around thirty eight that I pay. Okay. 
Yeah. You know, I don't always use the fabric in the box with the pattern. <clears throat> um, the fabric ends up going in my stash. <laughs> and the patterns go in my stash. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, having a hard time cutting, you guys. Maybe I should use the rotary cutter. Let me try, let me try that. Those scissors are pretty heavy. Hi, Teresa. Oh, the next block patterns are going to be the basket. So that'll be a lot of um, house square triangles. Hi, Nancy. I've been keeping busy rebuilding sewing machines and painting, repainting. Yeah, you like doing that, don't you, Terry? Anyway, I'm excited about getting that box. I haven't gotten an email yet on the sew sampler. Um, but I'm really excited, too, about the um, primitive gatherings. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you, Jamie, is um, this month um, primitive gatherings, is it, are they starting a new block of the month this month or did it start already and fit or did it start in february because if it started in february i'm gonna have to call them and see if i can just buy that or seven hours of work wow Um, Brandy has done all the sew alongs in this sew sampler. Thank you, Susan. I think the main reason why I haven't done many of the projects in the sew sampler is because the quilts are smaller and I make big quilts as some of you probably know it's like go big or go home <laughs> the only time I make small quilts is like if I'm doing a baby quilt otherwise I want it to fit on the on the bed you know um, but I know I should start making like um, lap quilts or, yeah, large lap quilts. Because I, I think I have enough quilts, big quilts for my bed. <laughs> I think I could take a break from that for a while. That's right, Brandy. Go big or stay on the porch. Now, they, I have done some of those patterns where I have made the pattern bigger. Um, but you have to have more fabric for that, you know. And what I usually do is, like, um, let's say it was... Um, Lala Boutique. 
and it was just one roll, you know, a half a jelly roll. And I wanted to make the pat pattern bigger. Well, I have other jelly rolls from that designer, and designers typically um, make it to where their designs match. So you can kind of intermix them, you know. And so that's what I do. I just grab another one of her, some more of her fabric and add to it. It's called Peaceful Baskets. Oh, wow. Hi, Anna Sos. How's it going? Oh, she showed it last Friday. Okay. Thanks, Anna. I didn't watch it, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> That's right, Brandy. Yeah, well, I decided that I'm not going to die until all my fabric's gone. So we're looking at about 150 years old, thereabouts. <laughs> if I make one quilt a month, So I'll get more years if I do one quilt every other month. <laughs> Hi, Patsy. How's it going? Okay. So now these are the leaf side and I need D to do the other side of those. I just hope that when I'm uh, 150 that I'm able to sew. <laughs> right? I don't want to be looking at all that fabric and not be able to sew it. Yep, just keep buying fabric. That's right, Jewel. Yeah, that one's ready. How are we doing on time? Oh, wow, six o'clock already. Gonna have to stand up. I've been sitting here for an hour. <laughs> That's funny, Lisa. Lisa said, years ago I told Tiffany, or Tiff, She'd have to come to Indiana when Lisa passes to haul all her fabric stash. <laughs> yeah, I told Brandon, and, you know, I guess, I don't know if we should be talking about this or not, but I just told him... Uh, if something should happen to me, that just get a hold of the sewing group and just let them come up and take whatever they want, <laughs> you know. That way he doesn't have to deal with it. And he actually liked that idea, so. Because <laughs> he doesn't know what anything's worth, except for I told him, uh, except for the Tula Pink. Um, I told him to look it up. And and sell it on eBay or something like that. Because huh. some of that tulip pink, you know, is pretty spendy. Okay, there's that one. Oh, 
Oh, feels good to stand up for a minute, you guys. Hi, Tiffany. Thank you. Right, Brandy, exactly. Don't sell it in the yard sale for $5. Yeah, I would rather just have him give it to people who sell, you know. Hi, Denise. Hi, Mary. Mary B., how's it going? I feel better. My neck doesn't hurt like it did Sunday. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and press these babies, too. I'm going to bring this over here so my back isn't to you. And I need to put that thing on there. No, that's not going to work. I'm going to need more room than that. And I need to flatten those. Okay, what number? There we go. Um, on the stem is L and C. Hey, Sassy, how's it going? How are those chickens doing? Getting lots of eggs? Oh, that's good, Brandy, that your daughter is showing an interest. Yeah, or, you know, if my sister wants all of it, she's welcome to have it, too. The sewing machines and long arm and whatever. It's just too bad you can't take it with you. <laughs> Lots of eggs, Jay. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's 6 p.m. here, Terry. I'm in um, Pacific time zone. Still light out. Looks like it's going to rain. It's really cloudy. Hi, Katie. Went to dinner with friends, had one margarita, and I'm feeling the effects. <laughs> so much a lightweight. I would be, I would too. I'd be like on my, on my face, right? Sounds good though. I haven't had a good margarita in years. Okay, that one looks good. Nice and flat. Okay, the side. Where do you live, Teresa? Hi, Jenny. Um, I live in Idaho. 
you know, where the big potatoes grow. <laughs> I live in um, north central Idaho. Yeah, Patsy. Um, yeah, my husband, I don't think, has a clue how expensive uh, quilting is. Mo most people don't, you know. That one just that's what it looks like. Yeah, boy, the wind is blowing like crazy out there. And oh, where'd my dog go? I think Willa went down for her dinner. <laughs> exactly, Terry. She said, my son-in-law knows the value of the machines, so I'm assured they will be valued correctly, but I will be around a long, good time. I have things to do. going to go ahead and stand up over here and press these. And they need to be flattened because the little wings don't want to stay down. Squeaky iron. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to leave those there for a minute. Yep, I've tried the featherweight. Yep, and she works good. You can't see it behind me? Yeah, it's right here. Yep. It. She went into the featherweight shop and um, she uh, had service done on her. So she has a new belt over here. And, um, you know, they went through the whole thing. So she runs great. And I got a new um, cord. 
and had it had to make it a little bit longer than normal. So, yep, it runs good. A friend of mine gave it to me. So, pretty nice, huh? And I don't know, let's see, what's it say? Singer Sewing Machine Cat 3-120 made in the USA made in New Jersey there's another little number on here it says it's really tiny 678-3A whatever that means it does need to be repainted you know it's pretty pretty rough i guess especially on the back side did you eat dinner willa um front looks good but the back side's got like some chips in it back here but actually you know it doesn't look too bad really I don't know where where do they usually have the serial number on there. Everybody said hi Willa. Oh there's a number on this plate right here. The serial number's on the bottom. Okay. Like on the bottom of the machine, like here. I don't see it. There is a number right here on the on this part. It says four five seven one three. Okay, Lisa, thanks for everything. Appreciate you. It's there. Keep looking. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? A like apple. K like Karen. Five nine four. B like boy. I think it's a B. Might be a five. Uh, and then forty one. Did you get that? I can't tell if it might be a five or a B. I'm not sure. No. Oh, maybe it's a six. I don't know. Oh, it could be a six. A K five nine four. Could be a six. Forty one. I hope I didn't break anything doing that. Gee whiz. <laughs> Not a letter, a number. Okay, did you get all that? It says a century of sewing service. 1851 to 1951. October 1951. Oh, cool. Thanks, Terry. I'll write that down. Nineteen fifty-one October. 
31. Cool. So yeah, it's a cute little machine and it does run really well. Maybe one of these days when I'm sewing, I'll, I'll use it. Okay, so that's the sewing machine. <laughs> it's a Halloween baby, yep. It's a centennial machine, congrats. Oh, awesome, that is cool. She says, oh, you have the centennial. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, Stephanie, thanks for stopping in. I, thank you very much. Be blessed too, sweetheart. It's the same age as my husband. <laughs> Linda says she does all her piecing on her featherweight. Huh, I guess I'm kind of afraid to use it. Hi, Kendall. Oh, hi, hi, bye, bye. Okay, Kendall, thanks for popping in. Yep, a hundred years. Wow. Well, I feel like um, like it's a pretty special machine then. Well, I thought it was special already, but now it's extra special. That's the stem. Don't be afraid. Save nothing. Use everything. Yeah, I, that's true. It is a good little machine. I would like to get the case for it. So one of these days I'm going to do that. And... Then I would like to get another bobbin for it. So it's not just one bobbin. And also would like to get the book. Or even the, you know, like a reproductions. They don't have to be the originals. They're little workhorses, don't be afraid. Yeah, I know. That's the machine you use the most. Oh, and you even sew bags on your machine? Yeah, that's true, Terry. That's very true. Oh, you did, Linda? That's great. To, that's what I figured. You know, the um, featherweight shop isn't that far from me physically. I know, huh? It, um, they're over by Kuski, Idaho. So next, and there's a fabric store over there too. So I do sew bags, I, giant totes. All kinds of things on there, don't you, Terry? Oh, really, Teresa? Teresa said um, when she lived in Kentucky, there was a place that had a classroom full of featherweight machines. Huh. I don't want to paint it, <laughs> Teresa. I know a lot of people do, but I, I don't think I want to. I'm kind of like keep it an original kind of girl. Hi, Tamala. How's it going? Yeah, that's true, Joyce. Fancy, fancy um, paint jobs comes with fancy price. We have 96 people watching. I've been on for 74 minutes. And 
Let me fix this. Oh, um, I, I don't mind Lewiston. I don't like Lewiston in the summertime. Oh, my God, it's way hot over there. Oh, it's so hot in Lewiston in the summertime. Um, and they have that pulp, pulp plant, you know, where they make paper products. And that kind of stinks. Yeah, Terry, I've seen some of your um, jo the paint jobs and foil jobs that, that you've done. Tamala uses her featherweight every day, too. Well, maybe I should set it up. Do I have a wet pen? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to paint mine. <laughs> A wet pen. Do I have a wet pen? Like a water pen? I have a water pen that's wet. Okay, Terry. Put sewing machine oil. Paint on the back so it doesn't rust over. Okay. Yeah, that's true, Joyce. I agree. The decals um, look really good. I mean, um, they don't look... I don't know if you can... I mean, I don't think it was used much because these are really good on there. And up here looks really good. Um, you can see and you can read this right here really good. It's not rubbed off or anything. You can read all of that. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all. That's one reason why I would like to get the box is because, you know, it would fit in the box and be protected, you know what I mean? So, anyway, yeah, it's in good shape. Is that iron on your fabric? No. Nope. <laughs> it is an excellent, yeah, I agree. Excellent shape. No, um, I have this on the fabric. There are reproduction boxes on eBay and Amazon. Okay. Uh, also from the fabric, fabric patch shop. Okay, Suzanne, thanks. Uh, Tamla gets hers from the featherweight. Oh, you have an extension table too? Awesome. Yeah, that's me too, Jamie. Yeah. I think that's why I don't want to paint it because it's um, everything is, you know, the decals and everything look so good on it, you know. Um, anyway, I'm just taking a break. My back's starting to hurt. <laughs> it's that time. Yeah, she's an oldie, right? She's older than me. Oh, 
Are all the featherweight boxes the same? As long as it's a fit, you look for the featherweight, or do you have to know like the year of your machine and everything? You can use SMO on her paint. It is recommended. Okay. Featherweight shop sells the stuff to buff the finish. Okay. I have one from 1953 and one painted is 1937. That's a gorgeous machine, Teresa Louise. You're blessed to have it. Yes, I feel that way, Kim. Thank you. They're all the same. Okay, thanks, Terry. What is SMO, Terry? Um, Brandy, that's what Terry just did for us. It was um, October 31, 1951. Anna says, all this look the same. Uh, sewing machine oil is what SMO is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was wondering that too. <laughs> no duh, Joyce. I was wondering the same thing. I'm just, I was just glad you asked. <laughs> Okay, kiddos, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Been on here for 80 minutes. And um, probably about time I start thinking about what's for dinner. I'm um, baking fish. I'm going to have fish. I didn't know you didn't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, um, actually, I did. Um, a friend gave it to me, but I long did some long arm quilting for her on a couple of her quilts. So <laughs> it was kind of a trade, I guess. Anyway, really good to see all of you guys. Um, I'm feeling better, so hopefully, fingers crossed. I'll be here on Sunday. Hopefully, Kay will be with me. And um, so, prayers for all of you in need. I'm always thinking about you guys, even if I'm gone for a little while. <laughs> I know that I'm still thinking of you, and you guys are in my heart. And blessings to all of you, okay? Remember to be kind. Be kind to somebody, all right? So, I'll see you all next time, okay? Love you guys.